So along with the home automation front, there's a few other hobbies I've got and one of them is sort of around the electronics. And more recently, in fact, just this year, I've uh, found I've become, I guess, addicted to a new hobby, which is around Christmas tree and Christmas lights. Um, not your run of the mill, chuck, chuck some LED strings or even some incandescent bulbs around your Christmas tree or around your house, but well beyond that, into computer controlled, synchronized to music. Um, so at this stage, it's first year, so I've got a bit of work to go, but probably somewhere around about 3,000 RGB nodes uh, that'll look to have controlled. Uh, that'll be a split across four Raspberry Pis, three of them controlling lights, and one of them controlling a projector. Um, and we'll show you some of the build work that we're doing. So down here, um, this is one of the control units that I've built, um, just a piece of PVC pipe, which I've just painted black just to make it a little bit more uh, blend into the, I guess, the scenery when it's mounted outside. Uh, cable guard boxes um, inside. Uh, in this case, I've done 12 volt power supplies. Um, I'd started out with 12 volt, so I've stuck with it. Um, you may choose 5 volt. I think there's some advantages around uh, runs that you can do with 12 volt versus 5 without having to do power injection. So at the moment, I haven't bothered with power injection because I'm running on 12. Slightly less efficient, but there's some pros that go with those cons. The second unit down here. Okay, in this case, so we've got down here, this is the E682 SAN devices controller. Um, controls about 12 universes with, with, with the pixel lights. Uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is a UBIC from a, an RC plane that I had. Um, so I can take my 12 volt, drop it down to 5 volt quite happily and run the Raspberry Pi off that. Um, and also what I've done is uh, bought a couple of ammeters off uh, AliExpress. So it can give me a, a view of how much power and also the voltage um, across the two power supplies coming into the board. Really, really keen to make sure I'm not overdriving them. They are just relatively cheap uh, imported ones. Um, but it gives me an idea of how much power I'm using so I can tone back on the effects that I'm doing if I need to. Um, and equally keep an eye on the voltage drop. So that's been wired in here. That's the, um, the shunts for the ammeter. And had to basically just use a Dremel to cut the shape out um, in the two areas there. I could press that in and use a bit of hot glue gun. It's been out in the weather for a while and has had no problems whatsoever. So that's looking good. I've got a few more of those, so I might do them. Um, same again. In this case, just a back-to-back -back install. On the back of this one is the power supply. On the top of this one, again, it's uh, another E682. Um, a Raspberry Pi and also just a dumb lights controller so I'm using uh, DMX output from the E682 uh, into this unit to basically binary turn on or off some lights um, so in this case I had two external laser moving laser lights which we've got down here um, so I'm going to use that to control a couple of those And here's the third of the three controller boxes. This is just in storage in the garage as well. Um, so in this case, it's another E682. Uh, again, there's a Raspberry Pi. In this case, it's a Pi 3. A couple of UBEX down here and an FM transmitter as well. Um, so in that case, it can broadcast to people outside. Um, frame, again, just made out of PVC. This will take the... Um, main mast of the mega tree, which is about 14, just over 14 foot tall, uh, and there's some guide ropes to, to hold that in place. So, anyway, that's where we're up to now. Um, fair bit of work to go before we complete. Um, Christmas is still a fair, fair few months away, so plenty of time to get to the end.